right, hey, good day, everyone. We are hanging out here, Eugene, Oregon, Coach Solutions, home of Brian's RV videos. And tonight, we are back home from doing some uh, service calls, and we got the Monaco Windsor. You've probably seen this coach before if you caught the last video doing the flooring job in it. But the entry well is going down, so I kind of wanted to give you a video of what all is going on there. And then I wanted to cover... Um, power gear slide rooms in case they fail so i've kind of given it just a little bit of that and then i'm going to give you some technical support here on that stuff we'll get started inside here as i hustle through here see if i can round up my flashlight but as you see we've got some of the floor carpet all done and the bases of the cabinets come along done this one done this upper one and then these cabinets here also. The TVs are out, measurements are taken. Getting ready to do that. Front TV's out. 43 inch TV going in up here. Trying to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do on that because I've got some uh, receiver over here, but the TV is gonna be wider. So we'll figure that out in a future video. But John, my audio video guy, luckily I have one of those that's just as good as me has come in and put the Kenwood radio in the dash. I'll throw a little more light on this subject so you can kind of see what we've got going. Now that previously had a big Sony backup monitor in there. So that's why you end up with the trim ring. Here's that Sony that was in there. The Kenwood is in here now. We're gonna finish doing the wiring and everything, but he's come in and got that all set up. I don't know which way I like it. I like it without the extra lighting, but that all in there so that's why you end up with this and then it's rear loaded so it's got the iso instead of the big trim ring looking real trick new one of these coming in can't get the exact burl wood at the moment uh shipping delays so we're going to do a new burl wood here out of the country coach style burl wood we've got the console all back together re-cleaned up re-cherried got the stainless pieces are here now for the entry step well that's kind of what we're going to go over here real quick is we've got these here for the sides and this here for the face. So that's going to actually go over the very face here. And then we'll have the sides. The sides, let me move this here, grab this here. Got that drawer out of there. We're going to refinish the front of it. But these sides will go in here like this. And then you'll have the coin mat going all the way down. And then the LED lights will be mounted up here along the bottom. And that'll shine down on both sides. And then we'll have the coin mat there and the other coin mat there in the very center. I wanted to give you a show of that. We'll go over here now. I want to talk real quick about Power Gear slide rooms. Now, if you have a case where one end of this room is going in and the other end is not, then usually that's going to be a shear pin. Really quick before I go inside though, I want to show these are the lock systems that they used on the Monaco's where when this goes in, this goes up. Uh, lots of tri-flow in here is going to make these work good. Some dories uh, stick right here on these flat surfaces where it gets together. That's going to be that stick lube right here so that way it doesn't run off, stays on there. And then that tri-flow will run down through there and keep that mechanism working good. You'll have that, of course, at your rearward end also for those. Now, some people have pulled those off and trashed them. You don't have to have them. It was part of some Canadian standards. But let's uh, get into this power gear system. I want to show you in this bay here real quick. You'll see we've got there, right there, a bolt that goes all the way through and another one where the bolt goes all the way through those can break off so if you hit the button this round part here will spin and the shaft will stay put you'll have the same thing at the forward and aft ends of the bay which is where the hardware all is so you'll have those again right here and those are going to be your shear bolts now if those break off you get everything lined up again so the tape measure marks are equal from both ends right over there and right over there and then you'll have that same tape measure mark. And once they're both all lined up, then you can put your new bolt in there, get it worked in. Uh, one thing is I do like to tri-flow these. 
a little tri-flow on these gears also keep them lubed up but uh that's the system there if you ever have that happen it's a quarter inch uh 20 thread bolt there is a certain rating but if you're out in the backwoods and you need to get that fixed up for you and get anything shoved through there and then that'll help that room come in and out for you so that's just a quick power gear how to if things break now you'll have that exact same system on the country coaches sometimes you'll have that hardware is going through this wheel well so you got to get a cover off to get into there but that's it and that'll be used on the allure and lower products so the tribute the inspire and the lure will uh, sometimes have some power gear hardware in there so i want to thank everybody that's taking the time to subscribe hopefully you enjoyed this quick little 10 minute or less video with some tech support in there we'll get this entry step well done and get you a video of it all completed with the lighting in there but we've got that going we've got that back carpet right there in the back and a carpet that deck cover so everyone thanks again until next time bye bye